So now uh, let's see some of the GitHub uh, challenges uh, that we normally face when we are working in our projects as uh, an operations uh, uh, engineer or are part of the operations team then you have to uh, deploy or you have to get the code you have to get the source code from the github and while uh, we are trying to fetch the code from the github so we may face uh, some challenges in uh, real case scenarios let's see so how can we solve that uh, challenges so the main challenge is uh, the main challenge for us is unable to clone a repository into a linux machine so this uh, could be uh, usual problem this is the main problem a lot of times we are unable to uh, clone a repository into linux machine so i have faced this problem so i have used many methods uh, three methods uh, from github and then i have created my own method to solve this problem because whenever i had faced some or other way i had found a way to uh, basically clone a repository into my either clone a repository or just copy the files into my uh, Linux machine so that I can uh, deploy the application so one the first one is using HTTP clone that is HTTPS and second one is secure shell clone link and third one is github CLI clone link these are uh, these are uh, options that were uh, provided uh, by github itself uh, Whereas the fourth one that I have uh, created, so it's like I have found this way, a way workaround so that uh, uh, if one of these three won't work, then I would go for the fourth one. So using HTTP clone link, I do that. I'll show you how I do. Okay. So total, total these are the four ways uh, we can basically fetch and uh, gather the data from uh, github repository into your local uh, sorry not local into your linux machine or your linux server okay so for this uh, how we gonna go ahead so we're gonna follow for github challenges what will we do is first we will go to our go to our github account and create one pre one public repository and other private repository two so once the repositories are being cre have been created now it's uh, time to create your server so let's go to the aws in and then create an ubuntu server ubuntu instance ubuntu ec2 instance we will go with t2 small only then set up security group to done so once it is done so now it's time to fetch and transfer files from github to ec2 instance for that we will begin with uh, the first uh, we will begin with https clone link for both private and public repository 
if that doesn't work then we will go further using ssh clone link again for both private and public repository then third one we'll use git hub cl cli also for private and public then last but not least my technique so my workaround is using http download link and wget gnu utility in linux so these are the four ways and uh, we will do it step by step so let us execute our uh, first step i will go to github account and uh, create public repository and we'll integrate with our local repository and we'll push all the files into the public repository that means our repository will be ready and similarly for private repository will be done so it's like i just want to uh, simulate uh, a real case in such a way that if some developer pushes the code from his uh, local machine into the remote repository and after that once all code has been all the source code has been uh, deposited into the repository then the ops team will collect this uh, code from the github and then they will take this code source code into the uh, respective linux server or a respective production server to deploy this application so i just want to simulate this one so first we will basically push the code from our local machine then uh, the second activity would be after creating aws the second activity would be again fetching the files okay let's create our first so let me create uh, first public repository i would give name github and challenge and it's pub rep okay this is the name of our repository this is okay i'll just copy this one this is github okay github challenge just public repository so i i'll keep it public and i'll add a, a readme file and uh, this will set a main as the default branch and let me create a repository so then let me copy the https link so then i'll open vs code visual studio code so let me close this folder yeah file new window and call close the old one so now let me close the get started and click on git so here you can click on clone a repository now clone from github so this okay that other github i do not have so i will use a uh, intelli j id okay so here i will create a new project
get from VCS. So I'll directly click on GitHub. And uh, what is the name that I have given? GH Challenge PubRap. And click on clone. So it's been cloned. So now I will add uh, two more files to this. I uh, call it uh, new. I'll, I'll open HTML file that is index.html add then one more file I'm gonna create sorry no new I would create one more file uh, that's uh, uh, styles dot CSS add then after that I'll create one more file that is uh, JavaScript so there are a lot of files of this from scratch I'll click on JavaScript syntax highlight in .js no not inside the scratch is a I'll cut this one okay here at this part new I'll click on uh, Java class file let's say function dot js add so it's done so three files have been created so okay this opened the uh, okay so our repository is ready now for us it's time to commit push uh, add to the staging area and then commit them so unversion files you put all together and then commit and push directly with one key so he wants to he wants me to specify a commit message and uh, commit all the files so all the files has been committed so now one warning is there but still that's fine commit anyway and then it took me to the push so what I'll do I'll click on push so with the message is same as a commit message so pushed one commit to the origin so it's been pushed let me get to the repo and let me do the refresh and we'll check okay our function that's javascript and then html css everything is ready this is java class uh, format so our application is ready so this is a, a public repo so one pub rep is done next we have to create private repo so let me create another repo go to the your repository and click on new and i have give the same name gh and uh, gh challenge then after that what we have is github challenge then we say private rep so this is the github challenge private repository so i'll click on private now so description is that it's private let me add a readme file initialize this a repository skip okay then let me create the repository which is private so now as usual let me clone this and get to the id so this one is done so one commit now i'm gonna create sorry i'll come to the git and i'll i'll create or else i'll create new project and in this new project it's asking new or empty 
it's new and location i'm gonna set okay anything is fine but still it's better to use uh, the proper one because it takes huge amount of time now nah? so i'm like youtube i devops and uh, and it is git in action okay that's done this is github challenges so let me create this uh i'll replace in the same window because it's been done so we'll replace it in the same window so main.java this one so let me okay this has been created like a project uh, it's not like uh, okay now the project that we have created is completely different format there is no version one let me click here so now whatever repository so we haven't uh, cloned a repository so let me click on a create a repository so on the same click on ok so local master so now let me add few files here source is fine yeah here new Mm. This time I'll add Python files, all the Python files, and .xlsx files, some data files, and one DB. So module dot Python add, and uh, next we'll add database file. Um, records dot DB and then we'll add excel sheet okay data file data dot xlsx okay so all files are ready now it's time to click on commit and push but uh, before that it, it's better to uh, connect it once I think okay let me select github and it is private rep clone so cloning is taking place that's a private rep so it's asking a, it's a warning kind of thing so trust and open project github challenge private rep intellij idea provides features that may execute potentially malicious code from this folder if you don't trust this source preview the project in safe mode to only browse it so i trust this because this is from my uh, account only so i'd say trust project so do you want in this window yes of course yes so we got it our, uh, our repo so now i'm gonna create few files here mm, the initial one would be module dot python add it then i'll create a records dot db and i think two are enough for this moment uh, so now let's uh, push this commit and push this into our directory so let me type uh, commit all files into private repository commit and push together so these are the two files will be pushed and i pushed it so two files committed committed all files into private repository pushed one commit to the origin main which is a remote 
repository which whenever you find a branch name with alias means alias means it is a remote repository so now let me refresh it so here the module and then database file so we have received in our so repository so now as as we have discussed in our prerequisites so our github two repositories are ready so let me mark it so now it's time to get into aws and create an ubuntu ec2 instance okay and set up the security group properly so i'm in ubuntu so i'll go for uh oregon then i will click on ec2 instance launch an instance name of the instance is git hub challenge server ubuntu 18 would be fine or else 20 also fine i, I would go with ubuntu 20 that's also fine it's not a big deal for this it's a small activity so then instance type uh, i would uh, go with uh, t2 small t2 small t2 small where is that okay yeah t2 small only then let me create a new key pair this is github challenge key So let me edit the network settings and add some security rules. Before that, let's name the security group name. This is GitHub Challenge SG. Replace the same with description. Then we have our security rules. So let me get into the security roles. So I want to access it. I want to do SSH to our machine so that I will go for the SSH and port number 22 by default and I'll go for my IP. And uh, uh, for now, this is more than enough. So add one security group rule. That's enough. So rest all. Let's leave it. Nothing much to touch. So let me launch an instance now. So meanwhile, I'll get the key pair. So let me collect the key pair and put it in git inaction folder. So I'll place it here. Paste it here. Yeah, here is our listing. So now let me open a git bash. Okay. So let me get into the instance whether it started or not. Yes, it is up and running. So our instance is up and running. You can see that. So with this, we have completed the second step also. That's AWS EC2 creation and setting up. So our Ubuntu instance is running up and running. Now let's so begin fetching the data but before you begin fetching what one important task you have to do that is installing git inside your server okay so installation uh, aws EC2 instance is ready. So now let's do SSH into AWS instance and we will ins in install Git. 
So let me go for connect. So copy this one and uh, open git bash in this location. So git bash here and make it bigger and then zoom it and paste it. So let me do SSH to the GitHub challenge server. So yes, it's done. We have logged into GitHub server. So now let me do sudo i. So I became a root user. Let me clear the screen and let me install applications one by one. apt update. So apt package management tool. So we are up updating that tool. So then we will go for the installation of uh, git. So uh, so how many packages can be upgraded? So seven packages can be upgraded if you want to do that apt list upgradable. Of course, here it is not required. So that so once the installation is done, now it's time. Now let's install the git. So a package management tool got up upgraded now let me see apt install git and i would give s and i would give s so as was given so it's directly installing the git into the github server github challenge server so git was installed so git version Git version is 2.25.1. So now let me clear the screen and uh, installation of Git is successful. So the second step, third step is also done installation of Git. So now we are on the important task now. So it's time to fetch or transfer files from github to ec2 instance okay so first we will do with the public repository and we'll see what's gonna happen so i would go to that public repo first so here is that and uh, here is my i'll copy this and create one more so here it's a private repository Whereas here I will go to the public repo and click on this first repo. Okay, I'll click on all repositories. So here is the public repo. So this is a private repo. So now let me copy. You see that you have a clone section. In that clone section, you have you have two sections: HTTPS section, SSH section github cli section so we will look into these things later these are pretty complicated so for now we will look into https section so here we will copy this url for the https section and we'll get back to our machine and uh, we will say git clone and uh, paste the link and execute it so cloning into git challenge and it's been done it's too quick because the files are small small files so it's pretty quick quick and if you look into ls if you do ls see here is your github repository the everything let me get into that cd g h you see that you have the same files so let me clear the screen and show me show it to you one more time so ls you see function javascript one index.html styles.css so it's clear that uh, with respect to public repository with using just http url you can clone in your server fantastic so now let's do it for the private repository so private repository is here so yeah modules this is python application and let me copy the file uh, URL 
of HTTPS again and let me execute it and see git clone and private repository URL and let me click so cloning so it, it's asking username so this is what I was saying so username is cherry rams gave username now it's asking password it is so I gave password it's saying remote support for password authentication was removed on August 13 2021 so this is what I want to prove okay for this only I'm doing this big exercise but that's okay so it would be helpful if anybody who wants to know who wants to understand in depth who is working who is gonna work in the operations team for them it would be great help it would be great 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 help so okay so the logs the so remote support for password authentication was removed on august 13 2021 because this is not that secure then compared to the other options that are available in the github cloning so that's the reason a remote so if you have anything so it's fatal authentication failed of course authentication failed because that provision itself is removed so now what is the option for us so you have only one option so but one thing is clear with ssh let me get back to our uh, slide once so with http clone link so with this you can only clone public repository you can't clone private repository i hope it is clear for you so now if you want to clone private repository how can you do that how can you clone private repository for that only we have s s h secure shell clone so how does this work a secure shell clone it's a pretty complicated concept <coughs> sorry so it's a pretty complicated uh, concept so let me uh, write the activities to be done in this for ssh so this one is done http with private and public both done let me cross this so now using SS, ssh clone so let me go here come uh, the first step here is you have to using ssh key if you want to do that so first thing it's it, first thing is it's most secure way so we have two ways using ssh we have two ways either you can go with the ssh key or other one is gpg key so here first we will look into the ssh key only so i will show you both so what we have to do is you have to create an ssh key in your ubuntu server so in ubuntu server that i have created where i have installed git na in that server we have to create we have to generate ss ssh key generate ssh key in your server then copy copy the public key and paste it in paste it in the token of uh, github account so this is what you have to do once this is done so basically the because of public and private keys so you can take the github can securely connect with your linux machine or 
GitHub will allow Linux machine to enter in their premises. Basically, the most secure way. So these are the three steps we are going to do. So let me take you through the steps one by one. Okay. So let us get into the GitHub now this time. Yeah, GitHub is here. So click on the drop down menu and come to the settings. So here on left menu bar, you can see that public profile account appearance. These are general, uh, general uh, settings. But as you come down, you have access section. You have specifically an access section in that you have billing and plans, emails, password and the authentication. Here you can uh, set up a new password and but anyway to clone a private repository using password credentials using username and password is not possible these days that was deprecated in 2021 mid itself so that's the reason so what else option we have left for the access is ssh and gpg keys so now SS, SSH key is one and GPG key is one. So using SSH key. So what we have to do is if you want to do it using SSH key, you have to create new SSH key. When you click on new SSH key, so it will open a window. So in that window, you have to paste your private, sorry, public key that was generated in your Linux server. Same thing happens with the GPG key. You have to create a public private key and then public key should be copied in this section. So at this moment, we will look into the SSH key only. That's the primary target. So let me click on new SSH key. So the title I'm gonna give is, this is a GitHub challenge. key so that's the name so here i have to copy you see that authentication key in this place i have to paste the i have to paste the public key so but before that before we pasting it let us get into our server and so it's gone so let me let's get into our server and let's create let's generate a a SSH key. So sudo i clear the screen. Now where I am? LS PWD. So I am in root root user home directory. I am inside the root user home directory. So let me give SSH key gen. So now we are gonna generating a SSH key. So what it is asking generate a public or private RSA key pair. Yes, that's what we want. Enter file in which to save the file name. So the file name I'm going to give is the same name. What is that? It is GH challenge key. Uh, it's It would be a big uh, name. So I'd uh, say GH key. Okay. GitHub. No, no. I'd, I would give Ubuntu mission. Na? So I'd say GitHub sorry github key and then click enter so then it's asking enter pass phrase so either you can give empty or either you can leave it blank or you can add your pass phrase pass phrase is nothing but it's like a password whenever you use that uh, key pair so basically it asks that pass phrase so i will click on enter and then enter same pass phrase again same enter so it's been created so your identification has been saved in this g h key your public key has been saved in g h key dot pub this is our public key and this is our private key the key fingerprint is this okay so now let me do ls you can see that g h key is a private key g h key dot pub is a public key so always and always and always 
private key, key should be in a machine where you have created a ssh key and public key should be uh, stored in a any kind of machines and number of uh, machines you can store the public key because public key is to basically use it for the publicly public purpose and then private key is secret one that you want to put it here so when the public key public key from any machine and with the private key of my machine matches so the uh, connection makes so now our let me let us look into the keys so how does a private key looks like so this is how a private key looks like we have used this private key in our previous exam uh, examples in our previous uh, sessions or uh, slides i think it is in uh, ansible ansible okay so this is this is how a private key looks like so we'll keep the private key in our ubuntu machine whereas let's look into public key so this is how a public key looks like you see it started with s s h hyphen r s a and some alphabets alphabets and some other characters and it closes with the alphabets and then root user of my ubuntu machine and then ip the private ip of the ubuntu machine it is nothing but let me give who am i so who okay so basically this is username and this is host name so the whole private key has been attached sorry whole public key has been attached with whom with the root user and then host of ip 172315184 so this is the reason a private key and public key can be connected through this okay so now what will we do is we will copy this from ssh okay let's get into the uh, machine once you see how should it look like a public key it should always begins with ssh rsa and it should end with username and host name okay so we got the same one by and large so it will start with ssh rsa rsa and it will close with the host name and username so copy this and mm, here is the machine yeah paste it here correct something is wrong yeah let me no this is the way okay or else i'll do one more thing so i'll use uh, in spite of cat i would say vim gh key dot pub yes now it's better it's better to copy from here copied put it in yes correct so now let me add this ssh key so it's asking password so i would say i would give my password so password has been given and key has been added you see authentication keys the key name is gh challenge key and this is the public ip uh, sorry not public ip public key and then private key p private key will be with the with ubuntu server so now let's get back so what will we do is we got to know how to do that so now we will delete this key and we will bring 
a public a private ip anyway public ip can always be uh, always be cloned okay we'll see that also whether we can clone it or not so here is the i think where is that uh, this is a uh, public ip so here i'll keep private ip only mm. mm -hmm. yeah private rep would be here public rep would be there so here public rep let me move into ssh so let me copy this you you don't have any public ssh keys in your github account you can add a new public key or cloning this repository via https let's see let me clone this using ssh and let me try to pull it here and we'll see what's going to happen so git clone and do s through ssh what's going to happen what's going to throw this it's saying fatal destination path gh challenge pub rep already exists and is not an empty directory so we have done it before in this directory so let me get into another directory that is a cd home ubuntu user so here i will do that again so git clone so it's cloning so are you sure okay the authentication of host github.com this is the ip of the host can't be established so at tsa key fingerprint is this okay that's fine that belongs to github machine so are you are you sure you want to continue connecting as i would say as without any proper uh, secure connection but still that's fine I'll say continue. So, but what had happened? Warning permanently added github.com at DSEA to the list of known hosts. That's fantastic. But git, git at the rate of github.com permission denied. Okay. So, whatever you do, even it's saying finally git at the rate of github.com permission denied because public key. There is no public key. So, fatal could not read from remote repository so please make sure you have the correct access rights and a repository exists so with ssh even you can't clone a public re public repository also to your machine and okay if you do not have a if you do not set up a public key a public ssh key so if it is not set up it's impossible so if public itself is if public we are unable to clone means private it's impossible to clone i guess so anyway let's uh, take the public uh, private ip also and we'll check that also once uh, what's wrong in it so here is and let me close use ssh link and then copy this this is a private wrap and the same git clone Cloning, same thing, same problem, but this time it's even did not ask uh, that uh, condition. So because git at the rate of github.com permission denied because of public key. So now what will we do is we will do the same thing, whatever we have done earlier. So here we'll get back to the settings and uh, we will go to the SSH key and we'll create our new SSH key and this the name would be gh challenge key and here we're gonna copy the public key so let me get into the root user ls vim gh key at the rate key dot pub so this is our key let me copy this we have done it earlier but i just want to show i just want to show you that if you do not set up a public key and private key relationship between your server and and github it is impossible to clone even a public repository from github into your server to prove this so i just skip that one so now again we are attaching uh, we are adding our public uh, key to the github from the server so that we can set up that connection securely so i have added ssh key so now 
let's refresh it and uh, let's get into the you see that here also so now let's refresh this one more time to the public repo now let me do the ssh clone url link and now let's do ssh so cd home ubuntu mkdir this is public rep cd public rep so inside you just cross check nothing is there inside to execute all the all the things that we have mentioned so let's quickly finish it so so what i will do is i will show you the methods and how to do that uh, if you want you can continue with the further processor so as we have mentioned uh, here so using ssh ssh H key is done so similarly we can do the same with gpg key so that also we're gonna do that so gpg key whichever is possible so now to do that let's get into our server again <coughs> and then the gpg procedure is similar to that by and large so you have to go with gpg let me click control c yeah clear the screen we have the gpg you gpg you gpg utility in our machine so let me click on let me type gpg and full generate iphone key so this is going to prompt a, a message saying please select what kind of key you want i would give option one rsa <clears throat> so 1024 or 4096 which uh, bits you want i would go with the 4096 bits long one so then please specify how long the key should be valid so for me i will put uh, seven days first it's seven days i would say seven that's it so key expires at sunday jan 29th absolutely fine no issue at all i would say yes is this correct absolutely correct so GNUPG needs construct a user ID to identify your key. So a real name, I would give Ubuntu for this. Email address, comment. gpg key everything is okay so i would give o okay so please enter the passphrase to protect your new, uh, new key i would say done so you have entered an insecure passphrase uh, okay that's fine no issue the pass press should be at least uh, eight characters uh, long. A pass press should contain at least one digit or special character. That's okay. Take this one anyway. So a uh, retype. So done. So now it's creating our GPG key. So this is the public secret key UID and sub. So let me look ls ls iphen a and here you can see the dot gnupg so let me enter into that dot gnupg so you can find all the information about gnupg public pub ring the private keys everything and test uh, trust dot gpg trust db dot gpg so let me 
gave gpg long option list and secret keys and long option key id and format would give long so you see that here we got complete information so total we have two gpg keys this is one and this is uh, other one so let me take and this one expires on 2023 january 29 so let me take this one this is the id of gpg let me copy this so now i want to get the public key to get the public key so you need this id so that's the reason i have executed the above command so now let's do gpg list option and uh, sorry i would give okay this is to acquire uh id gpg key id so now we want to get the public key for that we need to use armor option armor long option then we want to export that and the key id is here so let me execute it you see that this is our public key you can see that begin pgp public key block from here and ends exactly here where is that yeah here it ends pgp public key block here so done let me copy this and get back to our machine uh, get back to our uh, github you can see gpg keys here so let me click on new gpg key so title so i'll give gh challenge see as they have mentioned it always begins with the begin b pgp pgp public key block let me paste it so we have pasted it make sure the spaces you did not give the extra spaces so on top and also at the bottom absolutely fine there is no additional spaces neither at the beginning of the key nor at the end of the key so absolutely fine now let me add gpg key to this so now you have attached the ssh key and a gpg key so now you should able to easily access uh, you should able uh, use uh, you you should able to clone uh, your repository using ssh uh, ssh uh, url so let me get into one of the repository to see that url this is a ssh url this is how it looks you just copy this and then you if you execute you should able to see that So now the third option that uh, we have here is using so git gpg key also executed so that's also we have done it so that's very important and then the third option that we have here is using github cli for p and p so okay so let's use github cli you see that when you click on github cli you can actually clone from this also for that we will we have to install github cli so let's jump into the github cli install ubuntu documentation so this is official documentation so for mac os homebrew mac ports that uh, windows it's uh, scoop choco also there for linux 
Linux instruction installations are here. Installing GH on Linux and BSD HD. So Debian, Ubuntu, Linux, Raspberry Pi all will have to follow this. A huge processor. Okay. So let's take copy this. It's nothing but the similar one GPG key rings that we have seen. So basically, it is setting up a secure connection using GPG key ring. That's okay. Let's do that. Let's install. Okay. So I would give enter sudo apt update sudo apt install gh github cli so once installation is done so what's the next step to execute it's installing the github so now so we are recently forced uh, to change our gpg signing key if you have probably previously downloaded this uh, you should re-download it again and above. That's okay. So then, okay, all that. So it's still, it's taking time. That's uh, absolutely fine. So that is using GitHub CLI that you can directly install it. Yeah, okay, okay. Installation is done. So you can say GitHub CLI. For that, you can use GH just gh gh version gh version is 2023-13 this is the latest one absolutely latest one and as usual let's try this ah uh, here is that link and say so alternatively okay github uh, to get started with github cli please run okay we forgot to that we forgot that git gh auth login so github enterprise server no what account uh, do you want to log into so github.com github enterprise server i want to log into github.com only so through https or ssh through https that would be easier so it will take me through okay authenticate git with your github credential i would say yes so log in with a browser or you will paste an authentication talk, token. I would log in with a browser only. So let me click on. So first copy your one time code 67EE8965. Press enter to open the browser. So execute file not found in path because browser is not there in this Linux machine. That's the issue here. So um, what you can do is try entering the URL in your browser manually. So let me take the URL. Where is this? This is the URL. And copy this. Get to my browser. Take it here. Paste it here. Enter. So and okay. Okay. Let me get the piece of code and paste it here to get a device activation yes let me click on continue so it's asking authorize github cli i would give all permissions so authorize github so congratulations you're all set your device is now connected so my device is now connected let me re-execute the same command git auth login so you're already logged into the github.com do you want to re-authenticate no i have logged in so i don't need to re-authenticate so it's done 
So now let me execute the GitHub clone. So I think uh, the destination path already exists and is not an empty directory. So fail to run. So let me go to CD home directory. So ls. So Ubuntu. So you run the same command here. So cloning, remote cloning, and finally your completely cloning of uh, that repository is done you can see that so let me click on let me click here so gh challenge public rep it's been it's been uh, cloned into our ubuntu server so that's how you can use uh, either that or this or github cli whichever the way https ssh or github cli so github cli is also secured one and ssh is most secured one because we are using ssh key and gpg key whichever is possible that's fine it's not an issue so and uh, so these are the three ways way we can do so now let's do the hmm, where is here so this is let me get to the CLI. This is CLI. Yeah, here is it. Here it is. So let me get into my uh, repository. Your repositories. Your repositories and get into my private repo. And let me go to the GitHub CLI and copy this. And get back to the place and say and paste it here and execute cloning enumerating so counting and finally ls this is your private repo so irrespective of public or private if you use github cli after authentication you should easily you easily fetch the code so this is these are the three ways uh, we have seen so far so using https and ssh there as using ssh key as well as gpg key and after that we have used github cli to get it and finally we will look into my one technique it is using http download link and wget gnu utility in linux so for that so what we have to do is first we will do for the public ip sorry public uh, repo so i'll click on f12 it's a secret don't tell anybody a huh? secret secret click on f cell f12 open dev tools mm, then bring it a little bit uh, this side so that we can see the download option Mm, I think now we can see. Let me click on download zip. It's getting downloaded. The zip has been downloaded. Now let me click on main.zip. So, and main.zip, we have two main.zips. Uh, we'll take any one. So, 302. So this is not got success. You should get uh, the one which is successful. So main, this is successful, but here we do not have a zip. Okay. So anyway, let's copy this and we'll check whether will catch a link from here or not so this is the normally i do every time if i am unable to do anyway the initial three ways anyway they will work if it is not then finally you can go for this finally finally if it is not this is not the compulsory so w get so w get paste the link and main.zip so your zip file has been 
downloaded here is the main dot chip so now let me check whether we have uh, unzip or not so if we have unzip it's fine so unzip is not there so let's install unzip first so apt install unzip so unzip has been installed now let me unzip the file so main.zip so ls clear the screen cd sorry ls again you see that there are one more directory that's gh challenge pub rep iphone main so let us enter into that gh challenge pub rep option iphone main you see that same thing function index.html style.css this is my technique this is how i do <laughs> if nothing works if i face some issues in uh, other types because it's sometimes uh, uh, even because of ssh key and gpg sometimes if we face issues of course we can use a uh, uh, git git github cli but even if that is also not available for you then you can use this technique this is my technique so i will reiterate this technique i'll write down here clearly so that it would be very clear for you so first thing go to your repository page and click on the drop down button next uh, next to the code then at the same time click on f12 to open dev tools then click on download zip on from the drop down menu uh, from the drop down menu then you go to the dev tools and click on main dot zip fold uh, zip uh, text and it opens up it opens up the request request url or response url request information and response url so from there you copy the response url url with main dot zip then go to your linux machine and make sure wget tool is installed if not install it and give give w get command with the response url then it downloads the complete repository a repository zip file then install zip install unzip to 
unzip the zipped file that's 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 it you can see your source code on your machine congrats so let's do it one more time for the private uh, I, uh, for the private uh, repository now so same thing I'll click F12 first open dev tools so it's opened now it is in network tab you see that it's in network tab now let me come a bit this side yeah so now you can see the code button in that you can find a drop down bu uh, button so you click on that uh, drop down icon and once you click on drop down icon it opens up a window in that window you can found you can find download zip so i'll click on download zip you can see that you got the main.zip main.zip so it's getting download now you extend this to the left side then you can find the main.zip anyone you can take and copy the request url from here and the request method is get okay this is the request uh, url so response headers are those are really different but this is a request url so then you go to your machine and do wget and then paste it here okay mm, https okay something while copying i missed it it will begin with https not ttps https so error something not found that's okay uh, http request sent awaiting response uh, response 404 not found resolving github not uh, that's okay so whatever it may be sometimes uh, this kind of errors may happen but this is the way of uh, downloading uh, and bringing your uh, file if you want to see one more time i will copy this and uh, i will do it i'll go to the cd uh, this is ubuntu cd cd ubuntu ls okay i'm inside this okay okay i'll come out that was actually directory now cd ubuntu ls so now let me give w get and then same link here i'm giving now click here it is here is the file the thing has been solved now you can see your file awaiting response 302 found and all done and you can see your repository here that's it so let's uh, get back to our work so using http clone link ssh clone link github cli clone link and finally my way of doing using http okay let me edit that this is using this is my technique my technique http download download zip file so we have seen all using http clone link ssh github cli and my download zip file thing so let's get here so request url this one request url so let let's uh, sum up everything so what we have seen in this all this stuff from http ssh and in ssh ssh key how to make ssh key and gpg key then github cli then my technique to download that